Being asked to hide this from my mom made me feel very uncomfortable. I was doing like I was doing something wrong. Minnesota fourth graders are given equity survey on race and gender and are told by teacher not to skip questions, even if they don't understand them, and not to tell their parents. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News channel, dedicated to reviewing news stories from around the world. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, and sharing with someone you think would like this content. Sources will be linked in the description, so you can read the full details yourself. The article further states, a class of fourth graders in Minnesota were told not to repeat the questions of their equity survey to their parents. Many students reportedly did not understand some of the questions even after they were explained by the teacher. The survey was conducted at Riverview Intermediate School in the Sartell ST. Stevens School District in Minnesota by the Equity Alliance of Minnesota. Teachers were informed by the Equity Alliance of Minnesota to instruct students not to share the questions with their parents. CRT has been publicly endorsed by the National Education Association. During distance learning, I was asked to complete the equity survey. My teacher said that I could not skip any questions even when I didn't understand. One question asked us what gender file we identified with. I was very confused along with a lot of other classmates. A boy in my class asked my teacher if his mom could explain the question to him because even after the teacher explained it, he still didn't understand. My teacher told him that he was not allowed to ask his mom and that we could not repeat any of the questions to his parents. I want the school board to know how uncomfortable and nervous this made me. My mom always tells me I can tell her anything, but she also tells me I can trust my teachers too. Being asked to hide this from my mom made me feel very uncomfortable. I was doing this, like I was doing something wrong. Um, Kelsey, tell me what, what happened when you heard that the school was actually giving the survey and instructing children not to tell their parents about it. You know, the funny thing is we did know that this, we were informed that this equity audit was go going to be taking place, but the survey itself, they didn't inform us of the day it was taking place or we weren't really sure a lot of details behind it and due to the lack of transparency from the school district and from Equity Alliance of Minnesota, the third party that the school district has brought in uh, to perform this audit. We were not informed of the questions on this survey and when my daughter came forth and told me that her teacher, you know, it said you cannot skip any questions even if you don't understand them. And when children were asking questions and asking if they could ask their parents about it, I was very upset when I found out that she was told not to repeat any of the questions to me or any other adult in her life. I do want to say though, I believe that this wasn't just a single case that her teacher made this decision. I, uh, we have been informed that this came down from administration and Equity Alliance of Minnesota instructed them to make sure the children did not share this information with their parents. And that should pose a great concern yeah. in any parent's eyes. In my opinion, this is all wrong. What the F was the administration thinking to tell kids, not to tell their parents? Then you tell them they have to answer all questions even if they don't understand them. What good is that data going to do you? Of course, it doesn't really matter what kids answer because you have an agenda and narrative that you will push anyways. You want to be politically correct by bringing CRT into the classroom under some equity disguise. How sad that a kid has to go in front of the school board and express how uncomfortable it made them feel going through that process. Schools and teachers are breaking the trust parents once gave them. If your teachers aren't smart enough to treat everyone equitable and without bias towards one race or another, then the school board hired the wrong people. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.